penicillin G, an antibiotic which is utilized in treating mild to moderate bacterial infections, has not been manufactured in India since the late 1980s. The closure of domestic plants due to cheaper imports led to India relying heavily on China for Penji supplies, importing an estimated 30,000 metric tons from the country. With a 2,400 uh, 2, crop plant in Andhra Pradesh and a production capacity of around 15,000 tons per annum, Aurobindo will be commencing trial production shortly of Penji and commercial production is anticipated within a few months. Similarly, Mumbai-based Kinwan Private Limited was given the largest PLI project for production of input clavulanic acid, which will begin production this year. The medication is integral in the manufacturing of combination antibiotic drugs whose most popular brand is Augmentin. India has been dependent on majority imports of this import, importing around 1178 crores worth of it in 2021. This will be the first plant in the country and is expected to fulfill 40% of India's requirement when it comes to this particular input. The government's announcement of a PLI scheme for 41 bulk drugs with an outlay of 6,940 crores aims to bolster domestic manufacturing and mitigate dependence on imports, a vulnerability starkly highlighted during the COVID-19 pandemic. In FI22, for example, India imported around 35,000 crores worth of APIs, representing 35% of its requirement, with China accounting for 65-70% to 70 of this share. Despite a few initial challenges, such as the streamlining of approvals and licensing, the PLI scheme for bulk drugs has been largely successful, say industry watchers. The scheme has seen investments totaling around 3,651 crores as of December 2023. The government inaugurated 27 greenfield bulk drug projects to date. These projects will manufacture 22 bulk drugs ranging from inputs for seizure drugs to antivirals and bacterial infections. Additionally, 11 more bulk drugs are slated for production within the next year. Looking ahead, India aims not only to reduce reliance on API imports, but also emerge as a possible exporter. As per government projections, however, challenges do remain, including the optimization of production levels by companies over the next two to three years and the potential impact of inflation on the scheme's benefits, including incentives provided to the beneficiaries.